I, just, I know I said I wasn't going to do it, but I just removed the mufflers this morning. It's fully straight piped. I saw my primary cats on, secondary cats are off, mufflers are gone. I have the mufflers in my garage just in case, God forbid, something happens, but this is what it sounds like inside. Sports mode, fifth gear, and then like, give it a little bit of gas. sounds like it's not too loud but I mean it is it is kind of loud actually when uh, you're outside of it like I'll do a, a remote start where I'm going right now um, I didn't get a video of the whole process of it getting cut because I feel like it's pointless because I can't go in there because it's dangerous um, and I don't want to be in there um, when they're you know welding the stuff um, this isn't the full exhaust I'm keeping by the way I just wanted to be loud I'm ordering a Corsa exhaust at the end of the year, like I said, I don't plan on touching this for a while. Um, the cart is making a ticking noise, but according to people, it is normal because it's direct injection or something like that. And then they're saying because it has to break in. Um, ever since I did the full straight pipe, I rarely hear it, but I hear it with my AC on. It could be an exhaust leak or worse, it could be a cat, uh, a cat coming from my stock cats. And if it is, that's a, a warranty, but I'm gonna do headers eventually. So I don't really care. The car is fast. So I got 320 miles, I'm not really being too pushy with it because it's still breaking in. Um, I'm keeping it under 35 to 4,000 RPMs. Um, the car did leak coolant, but they did overflow it. So it kind of makes sense why it would leak. Um, it's kind of annoying. It happened on my Supra and it happened on this one now. Um, I don't blame them though, they're just trying to be like careful with the car. Probably keep it really good. But uh... Honestly, the questions asked are, uh, is there a drone? I don't hear drone, uh, at least I haven't. Again, I did get this done early in the morning. Um, I don't hear any drone. It's comfortable, I can talk, I can listen to my music. You can put it on tour mode. And then um, I don't have active exhaust, so what you hear is what you hear, but obviously it shifts faster on the RPMs. So it does get quieter. Um, but again, I don't ever have quiet cars. Like, if you guys sit and watch my YouTube videos, I've always had loud cars. Um, I always do headers um, or CAD deletes. I tune them to make some good power. Um, this car is going to be a little bit pricey to build. I have gotten some quotes um, to make 850 wheel, which it's okay. Um, makes sense for a car that it is. I just, again, I have a whole year to save up. I'm not planning to do anything crazy as of now. Um, I'm kind of in my neighborhood. I'm going to see if I could do a little couple revs and get away with it. That way you guys can hear it. One thing I hate about automatics, by the way. <laughs> but all right, guys. So car's freaking dirty. It is getting washed tomorrow. Um, detailed, actually. But the brakes, bro. The brakes on this car kick up so much dust and dirt. It is insane. Something I'm not used to, besides the Hellcat that I had. But they never got this dirty. Now the ticking I'm hearing, I'm hearing it from this side, like right here. Um, I hope it's something crazy. Again, I did ask in the forums. I did talk to a couple of the owners. They said it's normal. I just hope it is because if it isn't, it is going to be a lemon if it isn't normal. But um, other than that, I think it's fine. I pray to God it is because this is one of my dream cars. And then I got the custom satin black uh, tips on both sides. So yeah, it looks, it looks freaking good. I'll get a remote start right now after all these cars start passing by. So, again, muffler delete and secondary cat delete. And this is how it idles. 